Hi first graders, it's Mrs. Bowen again, and I have another lesson from home for you. Now hopefully your teachers have already taught you about time this year. So I just wanted to review time and make sure that you understood how the big hands work and how it helps us tell time. So I forgot my school clock in my classroom and I can't go into my classroom right now. So we are using Mrs. Bowen's clock from home. It'll work just fine. So I want to have I want to have you remember what happens when the big hand's up top and what happens when the big hand is down on the six. And I have a little saying that I do with my class. We go like this. Big hand up top, oh clock. Big hand down low, 30. And that helps us remember that when the big hand is up all the way at the top at that 12, it's an O clock. When the big hand is down low at the six, it's a 30. So remember the small hand, the little hand is also called the hour hand. When the big hand's up top, we know it's an o'clock, so we just have to look at the hour hand to tell us what o'clock is it. Right now, I have it set to eight o'clock. So you look at the hour hand first, it's eight o'clock. Let's put another time up, and we're just gonna do a few o'clock practices. Ready? What time is it now? You gotta think. The big hand's up top, it's an o'clock. So what number is the little hand pointed at? 10, it's 10 o'clock, exactly, good job. Let's do one more maybe. And this one, I'm gonna throw a trick in. See if you guys can get the trick. Hmm. It's hard to see that little hand, but if you can't see it anywhere around, we know that it's hiding back there. Big hand's up top, it's an o'clock. Small hand is pointing at the 12. So when both hands are up there, it is 12 o'clock. Very good. Now, let's talk about 30 again. 30 is a little bit tricky because as you can see, when it's a 30, it is in between the two numbers. So here's what I tell my class. You need to think about what number it's past. The big hand goes around the clock like this. It goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so if it was at one o'clock and it's gone down, what has the one, or what has the small hand pass? It's past the one. So it is one thirty because the big hand is down though. Do you wanna know my secret way of remembering this? Most of the time, the 30 is whatever the smaller number is. Let me show you what I mean by that. So, look here. The big hand's down low, it's a 30. It's in between the three and the four. Most of the time, it's whatever the smallest number is. So what number is smaller, three or four? So since three is smaller, it is 330 because the small hand's already gone past the three and hasn't quite touched the four yet. Let's do another one. Ooh, look at this. Big hands down low, it's a 30. It's in between, I know it's covered, but it's in between the six and the seven. So is it 6.30 or 7.30? It is actually 6.30, because that num the six is smaller than the seven. Let me tell you the only exception to that. Let me show you the only time that trick doesn't work. It's right here. It's in between the 12 and the one. So you might ask, is it 12.30 or 1.30? In this case, even though one is smaller than 12, it's where the numbers are resetting. So it goes from 12 and now this is 12.30 and then it goes to one o'clock. I hope that makes sense. So remember, if the big hand's down low, it's a 30. If the big hand's up top, it's an o'clock. I hope you guys do lots of practice. There are some time homework for you to do this week, so make sure that you really, really are understanding that. And I will see you guys next week with next week's lesson. Bye, first graders.